Hello everyone, my name is Frederick, but you might know me as Dr. Knorkels from my Facebook page, Dr. Knorkels Artistic Oddities. I'm here today to display my newly made bot, which is going to be updated uh, continuously. So, first of all, you're going to need a username and a password, which you will get as soon as you buy the bot. Let's log in and take a look. Okay, here you're going to need to enter your Discord username, password, and the URL link to your chat with the Discord uh, mid-journey bot. And this is because this, this bot is going to open up a new browser, which will automatically enter information for you. So let's test it with uh, the blend mode. I've set it now to five loops and with the 20 second intervals. That means every 20 seconds is going to upload a new combination of two random images. And it's going to do this five times. So first of all, I've set it to landscape mode. And for now, I've limited to two images, which will be fixed in another update. You select two folders, which contains images. And let's take a different one here. And you simply press start. So what happens is it opens another browser, it logs you into Discord, takes you to the chat with the mid journey bot, and it starts entering images. So now it selected two random images. It's a demon and a T-Rex playing a saxophone. What's not to like about that, huh? And um, in 20 seconds or so, it's going to enter this information. It should be right about now. There we go. It selects two more images. And every 20 seconds now, five times, it's going to pick two random images, one from each folder, enter them, and send it to Midjourney. And as you can see, it uh, can also uh, it selects landscape mode. You can set it to square, to portrait, whatever. But the best result you'll get is um, if the image sources you use are of the same kind. So two wide images makes a good landscape mix. OK, so let's just let it pick the last one here. There we go. OK, now, now let's take a look at the prompts. Up here is an input box where you can enter prompts, as many as you want. And here you select an aspect ratio. It's called landscape because I like that. You select how much uh, stylized and how much chaos you want. And then you can also load a list of prompts. I've prepared one here where you can see it's a bunch of animal combinations. This is a gorilla, lemur, and butterfly. And um, I also have a, another view where you're going to be able to generate prompts, which is a feature I'm not quite done with yet, but I hope to be finished by it um, by the beginning of next week. And by then I'm going to go through it because I have a lot of updates planned and they're all going to be free. So let's take a look here what we got. So once again, we open up another browser window, log into Discord, start a chat with a bot, and it automatically enters all the information you have in your prompts list. And here we can see we're going to get a gorilla lemur butterfly with the stylized chaos and aspect ratio that we set in the bot. And in a few seconds, it should enter. And there we go. Okay, let's see what we get. I'm using fast mode now uh, because I have a, you know, we have an intensive setting here. 20 seconds is a bit too fast. I recommend maybe 80 seconds in relaxed mode. If you're using version 5, which is slower, I would even drag it up to maybe 100 seconds. Oh, and here we see something interesting. 
here I wanted to mix a scroll glider, Kirk's dick dick, and a mountain zebra. But a dick, that's that's a that's a dirty word according to the mid-journey banned words list. So we wanna make sure don't use words that are banned. Because if you start entering banned words all the time, eventually the mid-journey people might think that you're up to something bad, right? And here we can see, it sort of looks all right. I don't really see much of the gorilla butterfly, but hey, at least I didn't have to do any work, you know? I can just go to bed, I wake up, I see like 300 of these images, I pick the cherries, and that's it. So, I hope you can imagine how much easier this is going to make your life. Uh, and once this generator is done, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to make small changes, right? If I can show you an example, it's sort of, sort of going to be like this. You say, um, an image of a fruit mixed with a animal or an animal so what it's going to do then is you're going to pick from a file which contains names of fruits and then it's going to randomly select one enter it here then take an animal from a list of animals and enter it here and what you're going to get is going to be something like let's say a strawberry mixed with a donkey right and you can do all sort of fine tuning on this i'm going to add so many options so that you're going to be able to try different seeds uh, just uh, different stylized combinations different chaos combinations so that once you find a prompt that really works well for you you can fine tune it you can just change a few words, anything like that. Or you can, of course, just explore. You can make all kinds of crazy things. Um, as you can see from my images that I've been posting for the last, I don't know, three months or so, uh, it can do a lot of diverse things. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, just uh, message me on Facebook. All right. Thanks for your time. Bye.